It's been a while since I've done this, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. This is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play One Piece Unlimited Cruise, Episode 1. Last time, we ended up exploring around on Gorge Island, getting ourselves some treasure chests. And we ended up exploring around a little bit on Wooded Isle, getting ourselves Frankie's first special. This episode, we're going to be heading off to the fourth island. But as always, we have development stuff to make. So first off, we have the Palette Upgrade 3. I ended up catching myself three of the shells that are available for capture on the first island in the first fishing spot. They're one of the easiest things to catch there. So let us make ourselves our next pallet upgrade. Still question how this does anything. And there we go. So we have pallet upgrade two gives you an additional extra slot on the item pallet for equipping items. Never try to go to Zoro for, you know, support. Uh, I'm also going to do some upgrades to my fishing line. And I ended up getting myself a pure iron ore through a digging spot off screen, which I'm not really going to show too much. But since this is the first time that I'm showing this off, might as well. So that increases the Whopper Rod, just how it was for the previous rods. Pretty much the more you upgrade it, once it hits a certain point, you're going to have to get the next reel to be able to get the ultimate fishing rod but now we're going to do some cooking with the remaining shells we have so right now once we make this one because this should be the last dish we've made ourselves some seagull bone soup that sounds very gross actually a light soup with a delicate aftertaste the flavor of its fragrant herbs is heartwarming so we can increase ourselves some sp and some hp with this uh, who needs more SP? Technically, I guess Luffy does, considering everything, so let's give it to Luffy. But now we have the Art of Cooking 2, which means we can make all these new recipes that would be available to us, which I will be probably doing off-screen. There are level 3 ones, but those won't become available once I catch my first Sea King, which I'm going to be obviously doing off-screen. So, that's pretty much everything we need to do for development, so... Uh, I can catch that other seagull right now, and then I can get myself a another one of those lovely seagull bone soups, so why don't we do that? Off screen, I also ended up training up Zoro a bit, so he has all of his moves to level 5 now, which means I believe everyone has all their moves to 5, ex except when it comes to specials. Specials are still something I'm working on, which luckily the 4th Island's going to remedy, so... Uh, how about we actually head off there to right now? Because I'm pretty sure people are waiting to go to Cave Island, one of my most hated places in the game. And remember, like always, there's going to be a cutscene. Yeah, but the last time we ended up fighting an admiral. I don't want to fight another admiral. I don't know why he'd feel sick about Aokiji. I'd feel sick about Spandem. I love Brook so much. Frankie wins. And the reason why that is not as special is something that is very saddening to me. 
But, <laughs> but it's so much fun. Hmm. Well, Gabri seems to be deep in thought, but here we are, folks. Cave Island. Now, I don't like Cave Island too much. Not for the same reason that I hate Gorge Island. I hate Gorge Island because I hate the final bosses for this one. I actually rather like the bosses on this island. No, I hate Cave Island for another reason. And we're going to be seeing that once we end up arriving there after the loading screen. And hopefully my TV doesn't act a little bit weird. I may have to change the TV compatibility on my Elgato. But, welcome to Cave Island. Looks pretty cool. But, the problem is, it's a god dang maze. Wait, I thought that was in Greece. Why does Luffy want to go to hell? That I actually believe. Oh no, that's just mean. I love this dialogue. So adorable. But welcome to Cave Isle. Now, why is Cave Isle such a pain? Well, the regular enemies here... There are two separate types, technically three, now that I think about it. We have mud puppets. We're going to have advanced mud puppets. We're going to have pirates. Worst of all, we're going to have CP9 agents be here as well. And that's just never fun. In fact, there they are right now. They pretty much replace the regular marines now, and they are a lot more powerful. But... This is Zoro's new aerial attack, which actually has a chance of catching enemies on fire. It's very beneficial inside this area, actually. Because it kills enemies pretty fast. Now, you might be noticing that there's these walls that were inside the way. We're going to have to use our pickaxe in order to dig through them. So, let's grab that. Get a black orb. And actually, I should probably... Uh, I don't have much space. This isn't good. And I don't even have the items that I need to. Well, I mean, we're not going to be fully exploring Cave Island. We're going to be uh, setting it up right now because Cave Island is, again, massive. Now, let's see here. Uh, let's do Zoro's specials, shall we? Since it's so beneficial to do that with Zoro. I can... Actually, no, it's beneficial to do it in another area. But let's see if I can find my way around and dig everything through. I honestly find Cave Island, it's not too bad, but again, it can be a maze, to say the least. So, dig through, yep. And we got a bunch of handy rocks. So Luffy feels like he's been here before. This is actually connection to One Piece Unlimited Adventure, which is technically a prequel to this. It was only released inside the United States, and I probably will be doing it in the future. I personally do not own the game. I was more interested inside of Unlimited Cruise because it had Baruch inside it, and, you know, I love Baruch. But I'll give Unlimited Adventure a try, seeing as how actually one of the hidden bosses is a boss that is from the Unlimited Adventure game. It's one of the hidden bosses that's in the game, actually. But go over here, and looks like we're gonna need a bridge, which is why I built up Gabuti's points. Yeah, 
he's right on that, but we're going to need to build ourselves another bridge. So this is another one of the plot important ones, which is why the gold GP requirement is only one. And uh-oh, looks like uh, Frankie's a little bit uh, distraught. But we're going to jump down here first. Straight to death. Hmm. Straight to hell, one could say. Right? Oh, I almost... Uh, I should have let the mud puppet transform because I could have shown off exactly what the mud puppet was because the mud puppets are going to get a new form actually inside this area as I explained earlier. But if you go right over here, we have another one of the rocks right here. Yes, this will lead you to one of the hidden bosses in the game. This one doesn't require too much, though, but it is pretty powerful, so watch out. It's actually from the boss that is from the Unlimited Adventure game. I believe it might be the final boss from Unlimited Adventure as well. I could be wrong. But these passages right here are very, very important because they will lead you to an animal I have been seeking this entire game as well as all these guys. This is the best area right here to level up specials. As you can see, I've gotten to level three now. This area right here is the best for it because it just gets you so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Works for any special that requires you to hurt a lot of enemies and you'll level up fast. But here's our first stone, but we don't have enough GP. And we don't have everything that we need just yet. So we need cool, hardened lava. We need three of the dual action tonics. And we need one mock cherry pie. This is why I made that mock cherry pie earlier in the game. It's just for this boss. This is actually the final boss for Cave Isle right here. And you might be wondering, well, where's the you know other boss? Uh, we'll get to him in due time. All right, I'm going to switch to Rook and see if we can get some more enemies to spawn. Because if so, that'd be great. There we go. Get everyone to come together right now. Uh, come to me. Come on. You know you like the Beatles. Everyone likes the Beatles. Come on, I need to get enough enemies to where I get slow down. Then it gets ridiculous. Uh, that should be good. There we go. That got rid of a bunch of them. This is really a good place to level up for your characters, believe me. Especially because this island jumps up in difficulty. It's not fun. But we have a chest right here. So, let's open it up. And we get a stamina tonic. Which is pretty good. Oh, we got a bunch of pirates. You know, in fact, I'm going to use that stamina tonic right now. Yes, I am going to use that stamina tonic right now because I have, like, no room. I should have cleaned house earlier. So, let us use our stamina tonic. And what we'll do is get everyone close together. And get level 3 for his arrow knock strike, which is always beneficial. And we just need one guy left. Come on. Hold still. Come on. Get over here. There we go. Alright, what time are we at, actually? Um, decent time. This might be a longer episode than normal, ladies and gentlemen. So, let us... Grab some handy rocks. This is the place to where you can grab a bunch of handy rocks if you need them. I don't need too many of them, but, you know, they are quite handy after all. That was terrible, even for me. All right, so blow up this rock right here. And touch it. There we go. And we're going to need to get rid of here because we're going to get ourselves one of those animals. I'm surprised we didn't run into one sooner. Ooh, and that's good, too. But do I have enough room? Okay, this time I have enough room. Because I already lost out on one pure iron ore earlier in the project. So, there's one pure iron ore. But now I'm going to need to convert to 
point. Oh, I need to convert to a lot of points. I, I, I'm just fine. All right, so we'll just get rid of this stuff right here. Just so then I could get more space. I can get more magnets easily. What am I doing? I have one of the orbs. Right. Blue. Bitter grass. I want to save the eggs because those are good for white GP. There we go. Now I should have more than enough GP to get to the boss. I just don't have the right items, technically. All right. Uh, we're going to go to Nami for this. No, actually, we're going to go to Robin because Robin needs to level hers up. Right. I didn't even hit, like, any of them. Fine. Looks like it's Nami's turn. Or, better yet, I can get... Usopp's leveled up. Yep. As you can see, really good area to level up. Usopp just got to level 4. But, here's the animal I was talking about for the whole project. A mole. Very beneficial. So, let's catch it. And hopefully get its hidden item, too. Nope. Didn't. What hidden item do you get from the moles? They also drop pure iron ores, which you're going to need three of to get Brook special, which is available here. But we have another stone, too. Hmm. That's interesting, but more interesting is the fact that we got ourselves a mole finally, which means we can now get ourselves more things. So let's get the other mole that's right here. There's always two moles down here. So you can grind them up to grab yourself some more pure iron ore, which is always beneficial to do. And oh my goodness, that is a lot of pirates. All right, let's impact dial. Pound hammer. And one more. There we go. I was trying to hope to. Now, there's a bug that's right there that you can catch, but I don't recommend it because it's not useful for anything. It doesn't give you anything but completionist say. So I'll just catch it off screen, and I'll show it off probably in a bonus video what it is. But more importantly, we need to get rid of all these pirates, and then I can open up the way because we are close to where... I don't have to do too much backtracking within to get to this area. And then we're going to end off the part because while we've explored a bit of Cave Island, we still have a lot to do. We're also by the seventh treasure chest. And unfortunately, I did not get the map from the zombie squirrels yet because that would be very beneficial to me if I got that. So right over this way, if you go across with Baruch, you get to the seventh treasure chest. But I'll have to show that off later right now what we're gonna do is we're going to open up the way so break this down and we've opened up the way to the beginning so there we go now we can just go over this way and we don't have to go through all that and if we use our power vacuum right here we open up the way to the fishing spot for this area and get Usopp killed go me this is where it starts to get pretty ridiculous with this area the CP9 guys are relentless inside this place. They give you hard tack rations if you end up vanquishing them and get their item. I don't want to lose Baruch, but I may have to. Right? Right, that got rid of him. On. There we go. The hardest part about the CP9 guys is the fact that they teleport. But we have another rock wall right here. So if we break this one, there we go. Now we have connected this area to the beginning as well. So you don't need to worry about that at all. These giant rock walls will stay down once you destroy them. And now we have our little fishing spot for you. You can get some good recipes here if you so need it. But... 
I guess we'll do one last thing before I end off the episode and go back to the Thousand Sunny. There should be a treasure chest around here, but first we have an enemy rush. These are the new advanced mud puppets. They can drop things like bombs and iron scraps, so we're going to be using those. Alright, so these are the ones that drop iron scraps. The bigger ones drop bombs. And I believe that's about it. Now that with these mud puppets, I should explain, they also are just like regular mud, new enemies, which means that you'd get a new map from them. They are quite relentless, though, so watch out for them. You don't see them too much, actually. I, I believe, actually, these enemies were from Unlimited Adventure. If I remember reading correctly that they were. Now, these guys right here, the ones that teleport, they also drop bombs. And by bombs, I mean they drop one. All right, so that takes care of him. Him takes care of you somewhat. Oh, dang it, I was trying to get a break rush. The hard part about these mud puppets is getting a break rush because you won't get a break. Yes, I know what I said there. All right, so that takes care of that one, which means there's only two left. So I'm gonna take care of you. Whoa. Okay, I guess there's three. I. Okay, I guess there's just more that are just gonna spawn. There we go. Oh, I got a handy rock. I could've sworn they gave you bombs. All right, this one looks like the last one, so let's take care of them. So, they all, more of them are starting to feel that they've been here before. Yes, this is more connected into Unlimited Adventure. Uh, again, not played that game, so I'm not entirely sure. But this chest here contains a healing tonic, which is ultimately pointless when you think about it. But it's good just to open up this area. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This is Roxas1359. Next time, we're going to be exploring more into Cave Island, getting ourselves to the first boss. See you guys next time.